If you have diabetes, make sure to check your feet every day, even if they feel normal. Diabetes management involves a variety of duties, including blood sugar monitoring, a healthy diet, physical activity, medication adherence, and medical checkups. With all of these obligations, it's easy to lose sight of your feet. However, treating them on a daily basis can help to avoid serious consequences. Many diabetics suffer from nerve degeneration, which primarily affects their feet and legs. This injury might cause a lack of sensation in your feet. In this video, we'll look at 10 signs that your feet may tell you about your diabetes. Number 10, foot ulcers. Generally speaking, a foot ulcer is a deep sore or a rupture in the skin. Diabetic foot ulcers are prevalent and often affect the bottom of the foot in about 15% of diabetics. Severe occurrences can result in amputations, although moderate cases might only cause skin erosion. Experts think that reducing the risk of diabetes at an early age is essential. The first goal when dealing with a diabetic foot ulcer is to avoid infection. This includes releasing pressure from the affected area, eliminating dead skin and tissue, using the appropriate medication, changing the area as necessary, and above all, maintaining proper control of your blood sugar levels. Avoid going barefoot and make sure to clean the wound every day to protect the ulcer. Number nine, athlete's foot. Diabetes-related nerve damage may make you more vulnerable to foot issues like athlete's foot. This is a fungal infection that can affect one or both feet and cause itching, redness, and cracking. Medications that target and eradicate the fungus causing the infection are typically used in treatment. An athlete's foot can spread through infected flooring, towels, or clothing, according to the Mayo Clinic. Although it is associated with other fungal illnesses, such as jock itch and ringworm, antifungal drugs can treat it. It's critical to recognize these hazards and take early measures toward treatment if you want to maintain the healthiest possible foot. Number eight, cold feet. Although cold feet may not seem like much, they can be a major symptom of diabetes because poor blood circulation is a common problem for people with the disease. Over time, high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and neurons, reducing the amount of warm blood that reaches areas of the body like the feet and making them feel chilly. Furthermore, diabetic neuropathy, or damage to the nerves, may alter how your body perceives warmth, making your feet feel cold even though they aren't. This is an important signal to pay attention to because it's not just about comfort. It also shows how your nervous and circulatory systems are doing. By taking good care of your feet, exercising frequently, and controlling your blood sugar, you can improve blood flow and reduce the feeling of being chilly. This strategy highlights how crucial comprehensive treatment is to managing diabetes and preserving general health. Number seven, change skin color of foot. Changes in the skin tone of your feet, such as pale, blue, or reddish hues, are a serious indicator of potential problems from diabetes. Because high blood sugar levels can harm your blood vessels over time, poor circulation, which is frequent in diabetes, is the source of these alterations. These noticeable hue shifts are the result of poor circulation, which reduces your skin's ability to absorb oxygen and nutrients. For instance, redness may suggest inflammation or illness, while a bluish tinge may suggest that your feet aren't getting enough oxygen. Your vascular health can be inferred from these color variations. If you want to know what signs of diabetes appear on the skin, then watch our complete video the link to which is available in the description. Number six, foot deformities. Diabetes may cause nerve damage, which may weaken the muscles in your feet and cause diseases like pes cavus, which is characterized by a high arch that doesn't flatten even when you bear weight, claw feet, hammer twos, and large metatarsal heads. Thus, it's imperative to check your feet every day for any indications of blisters, ulcers, redness, calluses, or other problems. Make sure your shoes fit properly and allow enough room for your feet to move around comfortably, even if they are malformed. Keep your feet well blooded and shield them from harsh temperatures. 
Make it a habit to wiggle your toes even when sitting to keep the blood circulating and prevent your feet from being in one position for extended periods of time. Number five, hair loss. Hair loss on your lower legs and toes might be a subtle but significant indicator of diabetes-related problems. Poor circulation is a typical cause of this symptom in people with diabetes. High blood sugar levels can injure blood vessels, limiting blood flow to the lower limbs, particularly the feet. For hair folliculus to receive the nutrition and oxygen they require for growth, there must be a constant blood supply. Hair loss in specific areas may occur from a reduction in blood supply. Number four, calluses and corns. Calluses and corns can occur as a result of diabetes. Calluses are hard skin accumulations on the bottom of the foot, whereas corns form as hard skin around a toe's bone area or in between toes. According to WebMD, ill-fitting shoes or underlying skin disorders are common causes of calluses. Conversely, corns form as a result of pressure from shoes that press against the toes or create a barrier between them. Number three, fungal infection of nails. Diabetes increases your risk of developing onychomycosis, a fungal illness that usually affects your toenails. This disorder can cause your nails to become discolored, yellowish brown or opaque, thick and brittle. Sometimes the nail will split from the nail bed or disintegrate away. Nail fungal infections might also result from an accident. Furthermore, psoriasis, poor blood circulation in the fingers and toes, a weaker immune system, and poor overall health can all contribute to fungal nail infections. If you want to buy the best fungal treatment product, then click the link and buy the product for your nails. Number two, dry skin and cracks. Dry skin and fissures on your feet, particularly around the heels, might be more than just a cosmetic problem if you have diabetes. High blood sugar levels can increase the rate of fluid loss in your body, resulting in dehydration and dry skin. When skin becomes dry, it loses suppleness and is more likely to crack. These fissures are not only unpleasant, but they can also serve as entrance routes for infections, offering a major risk given diabetes' generally impaired immune response. Furthermore, diabetes-related nerve damage, neuropathy, can disrupt your skin's natural moisture balance, exacerbating dryness and cracking. Number one, pain, numbness, and tingling. Diabetic neuropathy is nerve damage that can occur if you have diabetes. It frequently affects the nerves in your legs and feet, causing pain and numbness there, as well as in your hands. This illness may also affect your digestive system, urinary tract, blood vessels, and heart. According to the studies, some people experience very moderate symptoms, while others find them extremely unpleasant and burdensome. Injuries, misuse, or illnesses that result in inflammation in your foot's bones, ligaments, or tendons can also cause foot pain and numbness. If you want to overcome numbness and tingling, then our complete videos are on this topic, Diabetes Nightime, Signs You Shouldn't Ignore. The link to the video is in the description box. Daily foot checks are necessary for diabetics to avoid significant issues, as around half develop nerve loss, mainly in the feet and legs, which causes numbness. This video focuses on 10 critical signals your feet may exhibit, including neuropathic symptoms, the risk of foot ulcers, cold feet owing to poor circulation, and changes in skin color or hair loss as indicators of vascular health. Recognizing these symptoms and adding regular foot care to your diabetes management plan can dramatically minimize the likelihood of serious consequences, underscoring the need for comprehensive care for overall health. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and comment if you find this information helpful.